Well, hello. I just wanted to do a quick re-review of the Parker Jotter uh, ballpoint pen. I did a video on this. It was, a, I think, the first video I did on this channel, and it was a bit silly and long-winded and everything. So I'm going to just do a new, small, short video of why this is an ideal accoutrement for the modern gentleman or gentlewoman, and why I think this is one of the best pens for EDC. The Parker Jotter ballpoint pen released in 1954 uh, it's now january the 2nd 2024 so nearly 80 years old this design it has changed ever so slightly over the years but yeah this is an 80 year old pen design and i believe according to dr google over 750 million of these have been sold over the years this is a design classic an icon in the world of pens and an excellent pen to use to this day. I think this design is elegant, stylish, and choosing to use a pen like this suggests uh, a certain amount of discerning care about what you're using on a daily basis. Selecting an iconic writing instrument without being pretentious and ostentatious. This pen is iconic, durable, reliable, just an absolute classic. Great as an EDC pen. And there are multiple reasons why this is still a great choice to be used today. Uh, I think a pen is an essential item to carry. I've always got a pen on me, either at work or outside of work. A pen is just too useful a thing not to not to have on me. One of the reasons why uh, the Parker Jotter is so good is the uh, wide variety of refills you can get for this pen the parker g2 style refill a ton of different manufacturers make refills that are compatible with the parker jotter they always come supplied with the parker quink flow ballpoint refills when you buy one but yeah there are a ton of different options obviously ballpoint refills gel refills uh, my favorite are the hybrid ink refills which are a bit smoother and denser writing than the normal Parker refills that you get. The Jotters will also, with the help of a little plastic adapter, fit the Fisher Space Pen refills if you want the ultimate in reliability for your pen. Tons of options for refills, something to suit everyone. One of the other things I really like about this pen is that it's a clicky, clicky pen. One-handed, click action. When I'm at work, I always have one of these clipped in my pocket I have to write down information a lot at work so whip it out your pocket click it's open jot your thing down click it's closed slip it back in your pocket that's great no messing about with uncapping and posting a, a two-piece pen this is fast convenient this is what I need when I'm at work and this is what I want when I'm not at work as well no faffing also I think these have a really durable clip I've read a, a fair few comments from people in forums and things saying the clips really weak and everything they break all the time I think that is not true at all these clips are really durable really strong they clip well to a, a, a shirt pocket or something yeah that's a great clip I don't think it's I also think it looks stylish with that arrow design on there it's a great pocket clip. These pens are also relatively cheap. I mean, not as cheap as a bit crystal or whatever garbage reps bring round and stuff, those horrible disposable pens, but the plastic ones you can still pick up for four, five, six quid. The, the standard steel ones are what, about 11 or 12 quid on Amazon at the time of this video being made. There are special editions and imports and things that you can pay a bit more for. But yeah, it's it's not as cheap as a, those throwaway pens, but this is a pen that can last you a lifetime. And the pricing is within reach of pretty much everyone, I would suggest. Parker did release just a few years ago, the Jotter XL, which is all around, I think, 30% larger than the normal Jotter. It's a little bit taller, it's a little bit wider, but I don't like these as much. This is the only one I've kept because I like this color, but I don't like these as much. They're just not as pocketable, and it kind of defeats the, the original concept of having a, a compact pocket jotting pen. Yeah, I'm not as keen on these. The original Jotter, nice, compact, pocketable pen. Some people say that the barrel is maybe a little bit narrow, a little bit thin for extended periods of writing. Yeah, maybe so. But for jotting stuff down day to day, perfect, perfect size. They did do a slightly smaller one, which I think was called the Lady Jotter or Jotter Lady. Slightly even smaller still. I'd like to get one hold of one of those if I could, but they're really difficult to find. 
But yeah, I know so much stuff is done nowadays on your phone, isn't it? And uh, writing is perhaps something that occurs less and less, but I still write every day at work. I like writing stuff down when I'm not at work as well sometimes. A pen is just something always useful to have. So if you're going to use a pen, use something nice. Like I say, this isn't an outrageous, ostentatious, over-the-top pen that costs thousands of pounds or anything. Spend a few quid and have a nice, iconic, design classic. Something that is going to last you for years and years and a lifetime if you look after it. This is a wonderful pen. Let me know your thoughts on uh, EDC pens. Do you like the Jotter? Do you like other pens instead? Let me know what you think. And I hope you're having a good day. See you later. Bye.